Welcome back everyone to the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for July of 2023 where we are attempting to dig out this trail rune structure which seems to have this little bit of a pyramid here it looks like. So we're going to see what all is in here. We're trying to do this without disturbing any of the gravel or mud bricks or terracotta in there even though I did disturb some when I was first starting to do the dig before I decided I wasn't going to tear things apart. It's be as discreet about breaking things as much as possible. But here we are trying to uncover it so that we could see its full extent. Now the object of this month is to fully excavate this which was intentionally left vague just in case you had problems like finding a feather if I did not find one. I'm not exactly sure the best way to find a feather. I was hoping to find one in a ship but that did not all work out very well. Uh, we've got oh that's copper I think. I was thinking for a moment was that suspicious gravel or no I think that's copper. Yeah that's definitely copper. Alright so we will continue on in there. I gotta make sure I do this without sending us to the outdoors. Because I do have to be concerned about things like zombies and creepers and other things like that. Ah! Look at that. A little bit more. Hmm, what is that? Oh no, that's just regular stone. Alright. <laughs> It made me think, is everything something a little bit unusual? Looks like I'm going to be needing some stone tools in a moment because I am, unfortunately, running out of my iron pick. And I do have plenty of cobble, so at least I can make stone tools. That'll slow me down a little bit, but I suppose in archaeology, slowing down a little bit might not be the worst plan in the world. Wait, this thing is I heard something strange I thought. It was is, did the sun come out? I was thinking that was that the s Yes the sun is out now so maybe that was the sound of a skeleton breaking or something like that. So let's oops Alright. Ah, <sighs> okay. Alright. Ah! Okay, well. Okay, ah. <sighs> times like this where I really get scared. Yeah? You're not going to survive that. At least I don't think so. Alright, finally. Oh, that was my first monster I've killed. Okay. Ah, <sighs> now... Well, thank you for the fish. At least I got something out of those ships. Now, all right, so now we've got that. We've got that. So here is the ruin. It goes down like this. It's probably going down a little bit like that. 
down underground so maybe it, it runs along in this direction perhaps but it can't run along very far because we ran out of space eventually Oh yes, my plan that I was having was to build a fence around that thing or some other way of making it a little bit safer for me. Now, it looks like most of it is underground, so most likely I'll spend a lot of time underground and won't have to worry about that. But when I do have to come out, it would be nice if I had a nice perimeter to... Well, at least keep the creepers away, because as long as I light up the area that's fenced in, nah, then I have no trouble with creepers. But except for the ones that drop out of the hills. Well, it's never safe. Just say it that way. You assume there's a creeper everywhere, and you still get blown up for by a creeper. That, that's the way things work in this game. And over on here. I know, I would have, I was expecting night to be resource gathering and daytime to be digging out the site. It looks like it's going to be turning in the opposite direction. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that's maybe I should just put a block down. Well, huh, all right now. All right, I think that's enough on. Oh, that's a nice short one. Speaking of enough, okay, I guess I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. But I guess that is definitely the end of my logging for the moment. Now this is going to be a shorter episode because I ran a little bit long last time. So I'm going to have to remember to keep track of it when this ticks over to 6 that I will be done. And let's see, that's east. Yeah, because I see that the sun is starting to descend behind the hill. So we'll go into here. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now, how about if I find a better way of handling this? And okay. Good. So I could go this way to meet with the other section. And try not to go outside in the process, but this looks like it's... At least I'm doing this in the daytime before the sun goes down. Because if I waited to do this after the sun went down, then I think I would be really in a precarious position. There we go. Find these precarious position. Oops. Oops. Yeah, double loops. All right. Let's make sure. Be be really bad if my anti creeper defense created creepers. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. Okay. Oops. Let's try it this way. It would be helpful if I put the door between me and the foes. I mean, it might be helpful. I consider it to be helpful. Now, this is more like it. Good.
now that that's done, we could take that back, we could take that back, we could take that back, and we could head down and, oh, let's put away some of this stuff before I do that, and put that there, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, because we don't need that. And as for the, oh yes, I wanted to make lots of fences, right? Lots of fences. Apparently they're going to be birch fences. And that way we could see that's going to be your yeah, birch fences. All right, I I think that's a start. In fact, I've got yeah, I've, I've got lots more in there. Let's let's make a few more for good measure. The idea here is to make sure that I don't run out of fences or well I'm gonna run out anyway, that we we all know that. There we go. Now I think that's enough on that department. We should of course also make a gate. Make sure I remember that recipe properly. Good. Good we go. Fences and a gate, and we could use that in the morning when I get up on that. We don't need to Okay, we'll do that for the moment. Now let's head on down. Keep an eye, eye on time and of course on the day counter. The day counter currently says it is day five, which means this is the sixth episode because they start at day zero. Right, there we go. And we'll resume our task of clearing out this area as much as possible. I think I should have started doing this way at the beginning and not have worried about trying to find a feather. Because it looks like it could take me nine days just to dig around all this stuff. I'm trying to think of whether or not the coarse dirt should be included in my list of things that I should not mine. I know there's already some coarse dirt that I have mined, so... At first it wasn't in that list, but figure little by little I could just I had to come up with exactly what it is. I'm just trying to be careful. See uh, so we can see the structure of this thing as much as possible and most of all to avoid hurting the suspicious gravel, such as that piece right there. Now, how am I doing on the pickaxe? I have got 34 durability left. Looks like I am soon going to be converting over into stone pickaxes. Well, at least I got plenty of resources for that. And, yeah, okay, that's the, okay, that's the stairway on there. So, let's see. Okay, so this goes down. This thing's going to turn out to be huge, isn't it? Most likely. I have heard some descriptions that these things can get pretty large. We're about to find out just how large. Well, maybe we will find out in about mm, four episodes. One nice thing about this month's challenge is that I can actually work on the challenge during night, and usually, okay, I got cyan terracotta. I need to get that replaced. Two coarse dirt. Seven light. Oh yeah, I was really being a little hard on the terracotta at one point, wasn't I? Not ten pieces that are excavated. Oh well. Now, what ha 
have we done here? Oh yes, I was looking for materials for making... I don't, I don't need the furnace, I need this thing. I want materials for making pickaxes. So let's make a pair of these. Yeah, that'll do for the moment. And let's stash this. I'll probably need a... Need a box just for all of my... All of my cobblestone by the time I'm done with the, this. Yeah, that's, that's what it feels like at the moment. Alright. Okay, that's the next stage. So we got a little bit more to go, and we are getting near the end. I think I only went two minutes over last time, so I think that I got a couple more minutes left. So let's try to keep an eye, an eye on the on the day counter there. When it flips over the 6, that's when things will be ready. Of course, I could always go outside and check the sun and stuff like that, but I'm probably going to be in the middle of trying to undig this thing. And it looks like that this thing is... Or have we reached the bottom, finally? Hmm. What is that, exactly? I have absolutely no idea. What kind of block is that? That is... Oh, it's packed mud. Okay. Packed mud. Alright. Well, I think that we have reached our end here. Let me go and verify that. Okay. I did. Apparently I didn't go as far over as I thought last time because the sun is just getting up. I thought it was going to be full broad daylight and that the clock was about to turn over and all of that, but no, I certainly was wrong on that score. So who goes? <laughs> Have I reached the bottom? Looks like I may have. Well, we'll find out. We, we are just undermining this thing. Yes, welcome to Minecraft Physics. Where you could undermine a building without causing it to collapse. Well, unless... It, oh, that's right. Gotta be careful here because there is such thing as gravel here. But it looks like I found the bottom of the whole thing. So it looks like we are going to have to go and probe around and see if we can see the extent of the length and the width of this whole thing. But that is it for this episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for July of 2023. Next time we are going to probe a little bit more. Plus also, let's do some fencing so that we could help to protect the area from creepers. But that's in the next episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge.